Hi, this is Kia Charisma from MyJetSetStyle.com and I'd like to welcome you to the spring and summer edition of How to Pack Like a Freaking Ninja. So, first and foremost, I want to thank everyone who watched the winter video. Thank you so much for all the pins on Pinterest, the shares, the tweets, subscribing to the channel, the comments, everything. I really do appreciate everybody's support. And I also want to send a special thanks to the commenters on my blog who shared packing tips of their own. That was awesome of you guys. Thank you so much. And I always say there's more than one way to get a job done. So on this video, I'm going to be packing for seven days. Um, it's going to be a combination trip, uh, three days for work, four days for leisure, and we're going to be going to a warm climate. So in my mind, I was packing for a convention in Miami. So you're going to see lots of color fun patterns and not a single pair of black shoes. So let's get it started. First we're going to pack the chargers and electronics. So this is for my laptop. Cell phone. iPod. Camera goes here. These are my headphones, so the iPod goes in with the headphones. Then we load all these things up into the tote. Since this is going to be a business trip, we take the monstrous corporate laptop. Chargers, headphones, sunglasses, um, makeup bag. and wallet. Done. I'm sure by now you guys are pretty well versed about what I keep in my valet, um, but just for the newbies, down here are the hygiene products, Q-tips, toothbrush, toothpaste, uh, my mascara snuck in there I guess because I have more space. This is all makeup. Um, there is nothing in there that I didn't use um, to do my look today. I don't wear a lot of makeup so it's not necessary for me to travel with a lot of it. It's a fashion emergency kit. Um, medical emergency kit, um, lots of different um, headache remedies, um, allergies, uh, band-aids, etc., coldies, whatever you need. Um, I started packing a sleep mask, but I would also put um, underwear up here. And then this is the liquids bag that would go in the front of my suitcase. Here's a look at all the clothes that I'm going to be packing in the suitcase today. And don't forget that we are doing both a work and business trip combined. So I've got four days of leisure clothes and three days of work clothes. I've got a pair of slacks and a multicolored top here. Two dresses for work. Um, this is where we get into my leisure clothes. This is a fun sundress here. Um, then we've got um, a couple of tees and some accessories to go with it. I've got um, a scarf to go with this. Here's my, my shorts and I'll be wearing that pink one with a skirt. Um, these are the party clothes and the thing that I like to keep in mind as far as um, warm weather climates, I wanna look good but I don't want my clothes to be very fussy. So nothing is too fitted or too complicated to wear. I've got three dresses. I've got uh, my three swimsuits up here and um, a multicolored scarf that I got in Aruba and it makes um, a great swim cover up. I've also got um, three sets of night clothes. Two of these are gowns, but um, this would be the cami and um, the leggings that I can, you know, repurpose for workout gear. Um, I've also got my uh, leisure bag, got a clutch for evenings, and the shoes that I'm bringing on this trip. Um, we've got a pair of flat sandals, flip flops, and a pair of nude heels. Um, some people probably wouldn't wear open toe shoes to their uh, work functions, but I work in online media, so I've got that luxury. All right. You see I'm only putting two pairs of shoes inside the suitcase. I'm going to wear the bulkier ones to the airport. And yes, I'm going to check. I'd wear 
heels to the airport. first. Then we start with the dresses. We got a little bit more flexibility because they're, they're narrow, so I can kind of layer them. Except that one. That one's not narrow. A lot of tropical fun in here. And what I'm being careful to do is um, protect my garments that are white so that I don't get any dirt on them in the packing process. Last thing is in is the uh, casual bag. Liquids on the top. So they can be accessible when TSA wants to see them. And this is very not heavy. Okay everyone, that concludes the spring and summer edition of How to Pack Like a Freaking Ninja. Please make sure you visit myjetsetstyle.com and I'll see you guys later. Happy travels.